Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. Today I'm going to show you the best five postures to do before you go on a run. So I enjoy running. I do a lot of it. I live right next to an awesome trail here in Austin, Texas. And so running is something that I do a lot. And since I've started doing yoga a few years ago, there are a few postures that I now incorporate into my pre-running routine. Every time I go on a run, I do a few certain postures. And the reason behind this is to help make sure that all of the muscles particularly in my lower body, are firing. It also helps to breathe better. So I help to open up my lungs, open up my chest, and get better breathing. So first posture we're going to do works on activating your ankles uh, and activating your hips. So we're just going to do a standing march hold. Super simple. I want you to balance on one foot, press down through the right foot, press down through the toes, through the heels, really nice and tall, and then bring your left knee up to hip level. Press your hand into your thigh, and work on standing up tall. So this technique is simple, but we're doing a lot here. We're working on warming up your ankles. We're working on warming up your hip flexors. We're even getting some balance in and strengthening your stabilizing muscles and also working on your abs. So getting all these muscles active so before uh, you go on your run, those muscles are already on. They know what to do. Switch sides. And the reason why that muscle activation is so important is because if you're not using your full body, you're moving inefficiently. You're not getting a, as good a workout as you could. And you're also setting yourself up for a risk of injury. So if your muscles aren't firing, that means there are imbalances in your body. And that means that you could be putting too much stress on your knees, too much stress on your ankles, etc. All right, go ahead and relax. So first exercise, that standing march hold. Second one we're doing is a high lunge. So I want you to start off kind of in a squat hold here. So your feet about six inches apart, get your butt way back, and then take a big step back with your left foot. Squeeze your legs toward one another. So we're working more so on active muscle activation than mobility and trying to get a deep stretch. So I want you to squeeze your legs toward one another, really press down through your front foot, squeeze your back thigh so your knee lifts up and this thigh is turned on, and then bring your arms up. We're gonna open the chest a little bit. So. This is a simple balancing posture, really great for opening up your hips, get great for strengthening your, your thighs, getting your butt active, and also working on your ankles. At the same time, opening the chest as well, so getting your chest open, improving your breathing ability. Go ahead and switch sides. So I'm just going to step forward, get the butt back again, make sure, my, make sure my glutes are active. Take a big step back with my right foot and lift the arms up. And I'm doing second side. So again, just doing the high lunge, knee is over the ankle and the front foot, pushing down through the left hip, trying to get my left hip down, pulling my right hip up. So making sure that my left glute is engaged and I'm getting a better stretch through the hip. Arms are up, head is up, my neck is relaxed. So I'm not pushing my head forward, but I'm pulling the neck back and keeping the chin relaxed, just like that. All right, go ahead and relax. So I've got the hips open, I've got the glutes active. Now we're going to work on the glutes a little bit more with a deep squat. This is also great for um, your abdominal strength and getting your abs active. We're going to start with the toes facing. <laughs> I'm battling my cameraman here. We're going to start with the toes facing forward and your feet about shoulder width apart. Squeeze your legs toward one another, push down through the toes, push down through your heel, bring the chest up, and then with your chest upright, chest facing forward, sit down. Get your butt active. So really working on leaning back. You want to think of keeping your toes or your, sh your shoulders over your toes. So I'm not leaning forward here. I'm not rounding the spine, but I'm getting my weight back so that my abs turn on and the weight is in my hips. Now this is important because if your abs aren't working, that means that your lower back is going to do the work and that means lower back pain. Same thing with your glutes. If your glutes aren't working, your lower back is going to do that work. So it's all about getting the right muscles active and attacking the source of the imbalances that cause injury, that cause pain, cause discomfort. And then squeeze your butt, stand up all the way, press the hips forward. That's number three, the deep squat. Number four, this is focused on your chest, focused on your upper body, focused on your breathing ability. It's called a standing side stretch and a back bend. So I'm gonna have you bring your toes together, heels about an inch apart, push down through your toes, through your heels, stand up nice and tall. And bring your arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, 
If this is difficult, you can try bending your arms like this so that your elbows are bent. Take a big breath in and then lean toward one side. Push your hips in the opposite direction. Reach your tailbone down. So by that, I mean take the arch out of your lower back. Use your right hand. In this case, if I'm leaning to the right, use your right hand to pull your left hand up and over to the right. Keep your head back. Keep the top of the head pressing up and squeeze your obliques. Lean a little bit more to the side, breathing up as you lift and exhaling to deepen and then come back to the middle and switch sides. Inhale up, other side, hips to the right, arms to the left. Use your left hand to pull your right arm up. Keep your head up, keep your neck back. You want to imagine like you're drawing a line on the ceiling with your fingertips. So really getting tall here, opening up your chest and then going deeper as you exhale. Give this one more breath, a little deeper with the exhale and then come back to the middle. Now a standing back bend. I'm gonna open your arms up for this one. And instead of thinking of a back bend, I want you to just lift your chest up to the ceiling and look up. So your head lengthens toward the, toward the ceiling. Your neck reaches up and back. Your arms squeeze back. And I'm working on lifting my sternum toward the ceiling. So I'm getting taller and then I'm getting deeper. So I'm going up. And then as I exhale, going back just a little bit, I almost want to think of setting my upper back down on a shelf, not letting my lower back arch. I'm staying a nice neutral spine from the lower back to the mid back and then upper back up. I'm getting that arch. All right, go ahead and release. Whew. All right, and you might notice that your abs were shaking there, uh, that your heart rate might have sped up, that your awareness is going up. And that's all what happens when you do a back bend. So, Good if you felt that. All right, last exercise is a warrior two. Reason for this one is hip mobility, hip strength, hip activation, and glute activation. Again, so we're gonna start with your feet about four feet, maybe, maybe five feet apart. Turn your right foot out, bend into the right knee, knee over the ankle. And because this is a warm up, the focus here is on muscle activation. Don't try to get super deep into the posture to the point where you feel like you're really working on um, pushing your range of motion or pushing your mobility. The goal here is just getting the right muscles turned on. So in this position, I want you to squeeze your feet toward one another, almost like you're pulling the mat together under your feet. Your tailbone is reaching down, so you want to make sure that your lower back has no arch to it. Abs are squeezing, ribs lift up away from the hips, right glute is turned on, so turning out or externally rotating the right thigh to get my right glute to turn on and then pushing down through that right foot. Again, same time, I'm still squeezing the legs toward one another. I'm still reaching the tailbone down and flexing my abs. I'm still squeezing my right glute. So my hips are turning on, my inner thighs are turning on, which helps with knee stability, and I'm working on my glutes so that I'm taking that pressure out of the low back, making sure that I'm moving efficiently. All right, go ahead and switch sides. So just turn the right foot in, turn the left foot out, Squeeze your toes toward your heel. This helps with activating the ankles. And then sink into the left knee. Knee over the ankle, tailbone reaching down so my abs are tight, no arch to the back, and pushing my right hip into my left hip. Again, ribs pull up away from the hips, maybe feeling some opening in the hips. But again, I don't want to push mobility too much here. I'm just trying to, trying to do this more so for the muscle activation aspect. If you're pushing mobility and trying to increase your flexibility as part of your warm up, that's actually going to decrease muscular performance. So you want to use this as muscle activation and not as trying to deepen your flexibility. All right, go ahead and relax, turn that foot back in and you're ready to go. So those are my five best poses for before a run. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, if you're watching this from the members area, thank you for being a member. If you're not watching this from the members area, watching this on YouTube, maybe on Facebook or other social media, you can sign up for a seven day trial, learn more about everything that we offer, all the ways that we help make you a better runner, a better athlete, and just overall better fitness. All right, if you enjoyed that video, I wanna invite you to take my free seven day challenge. This is a beginner's yoga for men workout series featuring 15 minute workouts and daily emails to help hold you accountable and motivated. 
This is a great way to learn yoga, to get started, and it's totally free. Sign up at the first link in the description below. When you sign up, I'm also gonna give you a free bonus video, a previously members only workout called Head and Neck Essentials. This is a 25 minute workout that's perfect for relieving tension in your head, neck, and shoulders. Useful for pretty much any situation. So go ahead and sign up for that seven day challenge. Do it right now. Click that link in the description. I'll wait. And if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. We put out new videos every week. And if you like the video, be sure to like the video, click the like button, and leave a comment if you have any feedback or questions. Thanks again for being here. I'll see you in the next video.